For today's lesson, we are going to describe changes in solid materials when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. I have here an example of solid materials. First, ruler. Paper clip. Rubber ball. Wrinkled blouse. Rock. And paper. When we say solid, solid has color, solid has shape, solid has texture, and solid has size and weight. Solid materials differ in size, shape, color, texture, weight, and origin. In this activity, we are going to find out how are we going to change the physical characteristic of each solid materials. How are we going to change the size, the color, the texture, the shape, and the weight of each solid materials. The title of this activity is How Can I Change It? How can we change the size and shape of the ruler? Let us see. We can change the size and shape of the ruler by bending. Bending is making a straight object into a curve one. Another example is paper clip. We can change the size and the shape of the paper clip by means of bending. What about the rubber ball? How can we change the shape and the size of the rubber ball? We can change the size and shape of the rubber ball by means of pressing. Pressing means is apply pressure to something to flatten, shape, or smooth it. How can we change now the wrinkled blouse? How can we change the texture? We can change the texture of the wrinkled blouse by pressing or ironing the wrinkled blouse so it will become smooth. Next is rack. How can we change the size and shape of the rack? We can change the size and shape of the rack by means of hammering. We use hammer to hammer the rack. Hammering. Hammering means to beat, strike, or pound the object. The last one is paper. How can we change the size and shape of the paper? We can change the size and shape of the paper by means 
of cutting. We use scissors to cut the paper. Another one is to change the size and shape of the paper by means of crumpling and tearing. Cutting, crumpling, and tearing are ways on how we can change the size and shape of the paper. Cutting means dividing up object with the use of sharp object like knife or pair of scissors. Remember this, a solid has definite shape and volume. You can hold solids. Solid materials have different characteristics or properties, such as size, shape, color, texture, weight. Solid materials can be changed through many ways, by cutting, tearing, folding, twisting, bending, stretching, Pressing, coloring, crumpling, melting, and others. Such actions may change the material size, shape, texture, color, and other characteristics or properties. Solid materials can be bent. When bent, these materials may change their size and shape. No new material is formed, only the physical appearance of the material is changed. Solid materials can be pressed. When pressed, these materials change their size and shape, sometimes even texture. But no new material is formed, and only the physical appearance is changed. Solid materials can be hammered using a hammer tool. When hammered, they may change their size, shape, and even texture. However, no new material is formed because only the physical appearance is changed. And now, let us read and understand the questions carefully. Write the correct letter of your answer in your notebook. 